Cloak and Dagger, Season 1, Episode 5, Thoughts. This episode is called Princeton Offense, or Princeton Offense. Another episode I love. Spoilers for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode. This episode is rated TVPG. Somehow. So will this video be. And, yeah. I thought that the... You know, this episode did a good job exploring, you know, it's doing the, you know, the arc of, you know, it's, it's with great power comes great responsibility, basically, you know, it's, it's a part of quite a few, you know, beloved comic book superhero characters, you know, now that you have these powers, are you going to use them for good or evil? And I thought that it worked quite well, this thing of, because they're connected, when Tandy uses her powers a lot, that means that Tyrone is affected, you know, yeah, I, I felt like that element worked quite well, you know, he's, he's like, you've been checking out too many books, and now the nanny state is going to die. I'm not sure how many people are going to that. That might be too too niche of a reference, even for me. Anyway, the um, yeah, um, it was it was pretty fun. How like everyone that Tandy encounters, you know, everyone who works there wants power over Peter Scarborough. You know every single one of them in in one way or another i don't know exactly how i feel about what one of them wanted i guess i should keep it as vague as the show does which is not very one of the guys imagined sitting at his desk and peter crawling under the desk and then tandy gets a look on her face yeah, um, obviously there's nothing wrong with what is being implied to, to happen there. I don't know, like, it's obviously, it's messed up if it's supposed to be like this, you know, that, that Peter's being forced into that kind of act against his will, you know, and, and also this idea of, you know, that that sort of thing makes a man less than than otherwise. So I, I don't love that. You know, on the other hand, I do appreciate, you know, if it can help to, to like, normalize. I mean, maybe this other guy does, is attracted to, to Peter, and that's part of it. And he wishes that they could act out the attraction, but I fear it's maybe the other um, but yeah, I, and, and yeah, great moment when, you know, yeah, she's, she's got her chance, she's, she, she gets the dagger ready, and yeah, you know, she could just stab him, but that's never, she, she can't undo that, you know, and I felt like the, the episode really got the gravity of that, and so instead, you know, she looks at his hopes and dreams and yeah he just he just wants even more money you know even all all these people that that died he he wants to make money off that again great visual metaphor sometimes the show nails visual metaphor love that and and yeah at the end you know she gets so so apparently peter killed ivan hess and now Mina Hess is obviously the next, you know, if Tandy can talk to her, uh, you know, or, or I guess, is it possible that she also knows she's part of it? But, but anyway, you know, we have the next. I, I quite appreciate it. I think it's, it's working out quite well so far, this thing of, you know, who is behind this entire thing. You know, we know that it, someone at Roxxon ignored this stuff, but yeah. Um, I really liked Tandy's line about, you know, the world has been stealing from me since I was a child. It's only fair I, st 
I take something back or some, something along those lines. Yeah, you know, that is how, you know, hurt people hurt people. And let's see, I think that might just about, yeah, I, I thought the, the couple of interactions between Tandy and Tyrone in this episode were probably the most fun so far. You know, this, you know, she, she like shows, no, no, look, I can do the dagger thing. And he's like, it, we're in the hallway of a high school. What are you doing? Everyone's going to see, you know, and she's like, oh, but I wanted to see in your natural habitat. And then she makes what I'm fairly confident is an Archie Bunker ref No, wait, Archie, crap. Ar Archie, Archie from Archie Comics. I forget if that's, there's. There are more Archies than I can keep track of because it's an no, not Archie Bunker. That's right. Um, Archie Andrews. Wow, I don't think I ever heard anybody say his full name, but yeah, Archie Archie Andrews from Archie Comics. You know, because she makes a reference to what was it, B Betty and Veronica, which I know just enough to know that that's that's Archie. So. Is she saying he's like Archie because Betty and Veronica was that like this one of one is the opposite of the other and he's yeah some something like that you know but yeah that was you know basically yeah saying you know oh you're you know look at me I'm I'm white trash but you're this all American you know perfect golden boy kind of thing you know that was quite fun and and the thing of you know so they're you know, they're typing it at his computer and he's like I'm surprised you didn't just steal a laptop from Starbucks and she's like you were closer than Starbucks <laughs> like the, there's a lot of like they're they're 100 percent you know it's it's not that one of them is saying something and the other is like what are you talking about and you know it's not that one of them is saying something and the other is like I can't believe you'd say that, you know, that's so hurtful, but no, they're, just, you know, they're, they're trading blows, they're, they're, you know, insulting each other, but in a playful banter way, not in a way that, like, nobody is, like, gonna go cry after this interaction, and, <laughs> yeah, um, fairly intense when she just shoves him off the, you know, it ends up working, but still kind of, yeah, and... Yeah, you know, it is confirmed, you know, now that she's had this dangerous experience, she can completely control, you know, the the end of the episode before this one, it wasn't completely clear if it was a one-off or if now she just can control it. And let's see. Um, right, the, the basketball game legitimately got me emotionally engaged, you know, which, considering I'm not much of a sports person, that's impressive, you know. Some movies and TV shows can do that. You know, I cared in the first Rocky. I don't remember exactly about the sequel. I, I watched up to and including Rocky Five, but I don't think I watched any of the sequels more than once. The first one, you know, it holds up. What can I say? It's you know, if you've watched it, you already know it's it's a really solid movie. Um, I'm just gonna. It deserves it deserves a name drop because one other movie that did actually accomplish it is the Lexi Alexander, you know, director of Punisher War Zone movie, Green Street Hooligans, the, the first one I haven't watched. The, I hear there's at least two of those. That one actually and that's soccer, and I hate soccer, so which, you know, I know some people would say I must not really be Danish then. That's pretty much blasphemy around here. But yeah, um, very nicely done. Absolutely, really got invested. And and yeah, you know, as Tyrone is, is trying to, to, you know, score the, the winning point, yeah, it is this thing of, you know, he's, of course, overwhelmed. He keeps encountering, you know, he keeps seeing the, the worst fear of, of all the other, all the players on the opposing team. And let's see. Yeah, um, I like the moment that you know 
everyone witnesses one of the players giving a jacket to a cheerleader and everyone's like wow you know and then you know later you know he offers his you know it to, to her and I love the moment where it's like let's see I think yeah he's like he's offering it to her but he's not like just assuming he's not putting it on her he's just like you know I'm I'm willing to you know how, how do you feel about it you know so he is implicitly asking for consent you know not for the other thing but but for you know are they going to, to date and that was also a great one you know you're you know I, I forget the exact line but but you know she says you know what is something like what are friends for and it's like friends you know that's that wasn't exactly the word I was thinking of using to describe our relationship but okay you know but yeah and and then you know it turns into this this fun you know playful moment of like you know well I mean if you don't want it ah you know, I'm just taking pity on you you know I love media like this that can show you know consent does not ruin the experience it just makes it mutual you know so yeah absolutely love that I hate when people say oh you know if we have well we just have to like write up a contract like just yeah and let's see the um, I think that might be about right yeah and and you know ultimately Tyrone does you know miss and and yeah you know Evita in you know in his bedroom you know unlock the the window and he's like fine you know you, I'll, I'll take the jacket back I'm sorry you know and, and yeah, and and she's like, you're you're not the the fastest. You're the yeah. She wasn't she wasn't there to hand back the jacket, you know. And 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 yeah, I like this thing. You know, he's like, oh, stay. And she's like, do you really want to have to? You know, you you want me to meet your parents for breakfast? You know, you you want your parents to know that I snuck in? You know, that's yeah. And and apparently, like I, I've heard about this before. Apparently, a number of young women really like for their male partner to to you know give them a, a piece of the you know of the man's clothing to you know and and yeah as as long as everyone's you know into that yeah um, absolutely devastating when we learn that the Dwayne has been working with officer scarface this whole time you know ever since you know for for those eight years he's been working you know as as soon as he shot billy just yeah um right i like that we see that you know that their their powers are growing now you know tyrone is able to he can't control it yet, but he is able to teleport objects. So, you know, suddenly the basketball is in the, the you know, with, yeah, in the party area where, where Tandy is, you know, that was great. And, he, right, I also like, you know, he pops up and she's like, are you trying to ruin this? For you? you keep doing this. You keep popping up at the most inopportune moments. And... Right, I liked uh, O'Reilly and Liam, uh, you know, working together, and yeah, O'Reilly pretending. Or wait, I guess yes. Okay, so I'm not 100% certain if it was a bluff or if it was a trick, but you know the the. Um, I did not catch her name, but the, you know, the young woman, you know, yeah, O'Reilly is like, you know, in 60 seconds, I, I call the, you know, the cops, and the, you know, the, the dealer is like, if you were going to do that, you wouldn't do it here, you know, this is, this is your way of scoring, and then later, she is waiting in, was she waiting in Connor's office, or just in some, in an area she knew he would head into, and you know they share and yeah now I'm trying to figure out if 
she always meant to do that or if that was her backup when the dealer didn't have a lot of because she says she never met the person who's behind the whole thing but but yeah and uh, right great to see some follow-up on you know we we know that Ty went to talk to O'Reilly and now we see how that plays out and I think that might more or less cover all that I had to say for this one yeah um, really great episode I'm really digging how they're you know they're they're doing a really good job of gradually you know like basically there's these two plot lines of the the let's see that's right yeah uh so yeah this was episode five and there are ten episodes in the season so we are just over we're we're halfway through now. And I, I feel like they've made a good amount of, of progress because, you know, now O'Reilly is 100% trying to get to the bottom of the whole, you know, mystery dealer thing. And, you know, like we, the audience, it's Connor, uh, uh, names, um, Connors is, let's see, I guess he probably is the supposed mystery dealer. He's the one that the young woman was working for and yeah and O'Reilly is trying to get him to to leave enough of a trace that she can prove it because that's where it and and that's the thing you know they can maybe take down Connors for being you know basically a drug kingpin they cannot they seemingly cannot take him out for the actual murder he committed or manslaughter I suppose but you know, yeah, um, and we also have, you know, so, so, yeah, that's Tyrone's, uh, you know, and, and Tandy is trying to get to the bottom of the, the rocks on thing, if, yeah, I, I think it's working, and I'm, I'm really invested in both, you know, I want to see Scarborough, you know, lose, but I do also, you know, I really appreciate that they didn't just have her like take him out and that be that you know because yeah there's some there's more there it's not only him and I think that is everything um yeah I I am not 100% certain exactly when the next episode when I cover the next episode but I am definitely looking forward to it oh right and yeah uh, I'm to be trivia for this one detective Bridget O'Reilly says she used to work in Harlem in Luke in the Luke Cage episode if it ain't rough it ain't right Misty Knight is told that O'Reilly moved to New Orleans so yeah that's a very cool connection there